Brandon Miller. He's killing it. Miles on, miles on mute. My bad. Um, it started off bad, but I think as you know, they've had a lot of injuries and Lamelo, and um, he's had a chance to play on ball a little more and you know play his game. I think you're starting to see what everybody saw before the draft and why now, you know, buyer's remorse. I don't think they have any about taking him over Scotty, uh, Scoot, Scotty. Might as well change it to Scotty. I don't know who Scoot is. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'd give him like an A. I'll give him an A. Looking at him, especially the last like 10, 15 games with LaMelo being in and out the lineup, uh, this might be controversial, but Charlotte Hornets is Brandon Miller's team. It's Brandon Miller's team, and – you're seeing the shades of what is the ceiling for Brandon Miller, which could be Paul George. You're seeing that. And he's consistent. He's there. He shows up. He's playing both sides of the both sides of the ball, unlike LaMelo. Mm-hmm. I think going forward, the team belongs to Brandon Miller. That's his team. LaMelo will have to get in line. I think you're right. Uh, because I think that Brandon Miller is showing, showing that he's a winner, trying to get back, hustle back, you know, trying to – he's speaking a language that those guys ain't even heard before, you know, and that's winning. You're talking about winning habits, like getting back on defense, um, you know, just closing out, you know, just extra rotation. He, he's there. He, he's he's really done a great job. He, he deserves an A. He is literally killing it right now. He's killing it. 